Hello and welcome friends. I'm Smita from the blog Smiling Colors and in today's video I'm unboxing the newest Archer Olive subscription box. This is the big yellow box for June 2022. I'll quickly open the box and show you what's in it and then I'm actually going to open everything, cut up paper and create some layout to my bullet journal. So let's get started. So when you open the box, the first thing I saw were these paint pens. They come in very bright summery colors. They have some decorative tapes. These have these floral and summer kind of citrusy vibe. I love the prints. I'm here for the journals. So they have two journals in this box. The first journal I'm opening here is a traveler journal size. It comes with this printed design. It's not a fabric cover, it's kind of like a leather cover. And inside they have white dot grid pages go along with the notebook they've also included a cover in this box the cover is made of vegan leather it's such a beautiful color I can see myself reusing this over and over again and this is the perfect size to carry around in your purse and with the cover I know there'll be no damage to my notebook So next up in the box is another journal. The packaging, the box itself is so pretty for this journal. And when you open it, you see that it's a bright yellow journal. It has this nice soft vegan leather cover. And it has this design that is embossed or debossed in gold. It's like this pretty Vespa or a scooter design with florals around it. And the best part is that the edges of the notebook is pink. The pink was such a surprise. I just love how beautiful this journal is. It has white dotted pages inside and I am a rainbow lover and this journal just fits with all of my collection so beautifully. Next up in the box is this metal tin kit. The metal tin kit is beautiful by itself but they've also included inside of it note cards with these bright beautiful designs and also bits of scrap paper. These are dot grid papers but they are in color and they're so cute. Lastly in the box are these sticker designs that are summer and vacation themed. In every box there's also a wax seal kit. My box was missing it and it's arriving a little later so I'm not unboxing that today. Time to get creating. I'm pulling out my bullet journal for this year. It's an A5 size journal and I'm going to create a few simple spreads for the month of July. So my starting point was this yellow scooter design sticker. I placed it in a couple of the colored papers. I decided it looked nice on the light blue and went in to sketch the word July. I like to have a pencil sketch just to make sure my spacing's all right. Then I trimmed the paper down to size and placed it in my notebook. I like the way the sticker looks against it, but I wish I had lettered my word July a little higher. So with my Tombow Jewel brush pen, I'm using a black color N45. I'm just moving the title July a little higher and coloring it in completely with the black. I'm going to let the marker ink dry for a bit before erasing my pencil lines. For the facing page, I have this quote that I've lettered in and I've just made a rough sketch on a rough paper to make sure that I don't make spelling mistakes while making a video. So I'm using the same Tombow Dual Brush Pen. I'm just going to hand letter it on the page directly. If you've not hand lettered a lot of quotes before, I would suggest that you start with a pencil sketch first. Just roughly estimate how much space you need for each of the letters. But I've done this quite a bit, so I'm just going to go with the brush pen and letter in my quote. I like having positive motivational quotes in my journal, especially for months that I have a lot of planning to do. The quote always rem reminds me that you can focus on good things and do good things. And to glue my paper into my journal, I'm using the Mono Air Touch Adhesive. This is a tape runner, easy to apply, it stays permanent. I don't like it when the paper falls off afterwards, so you want to use a good adhesive. To finish off this part, I'm adding the washi tape. The washi tape comes in such pretty designs, I really loved it. For the sticker, I want it to kind of pop off the page a little bit. So with my brush pen, I'm just applying a little bit of ink towards the edge of the whole sticker. And then I just peel the sticker, only to realize that the design is actually transparent. So instead of just changing course, I stuck the sticker back onto its backing and then I just applied the adhesive onto that and stuck it into my journal. I know this is not the way the sticker is meant to be used, but it's just working for me so I'm going to leave it this way. I kind of felt like the other side of the page looked very colorless at this point. 
So maybe I could put a blue paper on it instead of just the quote. I tried the other colors, I really like the yellow. So I went ahead and I lettered the quote back onto this yellow piece of paper. And then using that mono touch air adhesive again, I just glued the paper onto the quote. So sometimes I just change course. I like the way the quote looked, but I wanted this pop of color and the yellow really, really makes it the sunshine word, kind of embodies the sunshine word and makes this page more meaningful for me. And to finish it all off, I added a sample of all of the tapes included in the box. I just wanted to break open and tear those. So the tapes all added so much color to this. I love the way this page turned out. So with my cover page done, now I'm going to work on the monthly calendar. I want to reuse this piece of packaging because the flowers around it are really cute. I also pulled out a couple of the stickers to use and to cover up that ampersand or the logo, I used a piece of pink paper that's included in the box and I cut out a rough circle. You really should trace a circle and cut it out, but I just went for it, I freehanded it and it turned out okay. Next, I went ahead with my brush pen. I pulled out a, a color light pink, it's called 761, and I drew in lines. So I like to have like a vertical month at a glance, and all of my weekends are marked in pink. So I went ahead and colored them, and then I added the dates to it. Now I applied some more of the tape runner to the back of the packaging. This is a little bit thick, the cardstock is definitely thicker, but then I liked the way it looked in my journal. So I just adhered it into place. You can of course just draw something else if you want to, but I like to reuse things that make me smile and this one definitely makes me smile. And I wrote the words July in the center of it. Very simple hand lettering and that is my month at a glance page. So on the facing page, I like to just have a couple of buckets in which I can divide my tasks according to the week. For the month of July, I have four weeks. So I'm adding a little bit of the pink. I felt like there was so much horizontal work going on on the facing page. I added a vertical stripe of color and then I wrote week one, week two, week three, week four. I stuck in the stickers. Again, I didn't want to peel the stickers even though the back was just white. I felt like they looked good with the backing so I just applied the tape runner to the back of it and I glued them into place. I felt like there's a little bit of white space so I tore some of the washi tape and I adhered it in there. They look really cute, just a little pop of color and so simple and quick to do. So next is my habit tracker page. For this I used all of the color dot grid papers included and I cut out the shape of the month, the 31 days. So first I cut out rough squares for the shape and then using my sharp scissors I cut out so that there'd be exactly 31 grid boxes or grids in there so that I can cross off whatever habit I'm tracking for that month. Again, I quickly applied the tape runner to the back of each one of those dark grid pages and then I stuck it into place and that is my habit tracker. For the facing page, I just wanted a page to add my daily journal link and I like having lines in it. It just makes me write more, I feel. A blank page kind of is daunting, but if I have a little bit of design and some lines drawn in there, I just find that journaling comes more easily to me. So that is it. This is the flip through of the three pages that I made today. I have a quote page, a cover page, a month at a glance, weeks at a glance, my habit trackers in there, and a journal page. I love journals and all of the things included in the subscription box this month were definitely up my alley. I love the colors and I love how bright and cheerful everything is. I will leave a link in the description box below if you want to purchase a subscription box for yourself. It is a subscription so you'll be re receiving a box this month and every other recurring quarter. Let me know in the comments below if you have the subscription box, or what you're creating with it, what you're feeling about it and a big thank you to Archer Olive affiliate team for sending me this box. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Till then, happy crafting!